Here's how I'd create a blind dovetail joint. So to start out with to make the component, I'm going to measure up a quarter of an inch and down a quarter of an inch. And since I want to use this on a 3 4 inch wide piece of wood, that's a blind dovetail joint. I want to use a joint that's about 5 eighths of an inch uh, deep. So we'll come over here, 0.625, and I want to create a guideline at that point there. I know that the dovetails are 7 degree angle, so taking my protractor, I'm going to measure down 7 degrees, and at this one, we'll measure up 7 degrees. Now I've got my guidelines in place. I can draw a shape of a dovetail. I drew this at the origin at this point here because your templates will define where the center line of the jigs, uh, jig is and how the frequency of the um, of the dovetails so we can measure from the center line of that to get the uh, spacing. I'm going to now delete my guidelines and I want to move a copy of this. I don't want to have to create or merge in multiple uh, components. I want to just merge in one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. I hit the control key. I'm going to move it 0.875. Now that I've done that I'm going to hit the X and 6 and enter and what you're going to see is it's created an array by hitting X6 and we've made uh, six copies of that. Now I'm going to save that as a um, file for a component and we we'll called it a, a molding shape and we'll save that and we can go into entity or model information type in the information that we want there to display in our files and we'll save that into the components area to use for future files. To use that now I'm going to create a new file and let's start out by making a board and we want to say that's um, 0.75 by 15 inches long and we'll make that 5 inches high and we'll zoom in on that a little bit so that we can see where we're going and since the board that we're going to attach this is 3 quarters of an inch wide the joint is will be 3 fourths of an inch deep and I'm going to take and back that up 3 quarters of an inch and I'll show you why in just a second. Now I'm going to go to my Windows and Components and we'll find our molding shape blind that we created just a minute ago and I'm going to click that there. There I have a whole series of dovetails. I now can take and move that vertically and space that out just as I need in my um, part. I'm going to set that like that and I will now do an edit and explode component and explode and we can delete these now the reason that I shrunk that part back three quarters of an inch is because now I can use push pull and pull that forward three quarters of an inch doing so I can do that in one piece rather than taking each dovetail and shrinking them back three quarters of an inch it's just a little bit faster 
now I can select this and group that. The next thing I want to do is create the board that's going to meet with this. So what I'll do is click here. I'm going to hover at this point for a minute and then drag out. So I'll now type 15 comma and what I will do now is go back into components merge another copy of that molding shape in and I will now take at that point there and move it to match that next thing I'm going to do is hide this component for a minute and we can delete or explode this now and then select that and delete it now what I if you look we have taken by exploding that it has combined this geometry with this and made that one part I can now click on these joints here remove that line now I can take and push that back three quarters of an inch and we can group this now I can unhide my other piece and you'll see you have a blind dovetail joint that lines up. 